Ubuntu 1304 comes with an improved version of the Unity desktop that's faster, sleeker and more performant than ever before. But what else can you find? Let's take a quick blast through the changes appearing in this release. Ubuntu's Bluetooth menu has been revamped to include some pretty neat looking toggle switches and there's a new sync menu for controlling Ubuntu One, Ubuntu's built-in cloud storage service. You can choose which applications have access to your online accounts. Talking of which, if you have Facebook or Twitter enabled in online accounts, you'll now see a new social lens available for use in the Unity Dash. From here, you can search for content as well as right click on tweets and status updates to preview them, like them or retweet them. Switching between open windows of the same application is now easier. You can use your mouse scroll wheel to cycle through them or give the launcher item a right click and select them from a handy list. Ubuntu's workspace switcher is no longer included on the Unity launcher by default, but it only takes a click or so to get it back. When you do, you'll notice a new feature. It now indicates which workspace you're on. The window snapping transition has been tweaked in 1304. Now, when dragging an app window to the left, right or upper top of the screen, the expanding box will be filled with a ghost of the window to be snapped. On the subject of subtle animation changes, Unity tooltips now fade in when you're hovering over items in the launcher rather than just appear. Every release of Ubuntu comes with some awesome new wallpapers and I'm glad to report that 1304 is no exception. Right clicking on items in the dash opens up previews. The animation as it unfolds has been tweaked. There's now a container box and better differentiation of items being previewed and those just surrounding it. Onto some more minor stuff and you'll notice a handful of new icons, including a new icon for the Ubuntu Software Center. Scrolling in the dash is now easier thanks to the introduction of an overlay scroll bar thumb. On to apps and you'll definitely notice a change in the look of Ubuntu's file manager. It's using the latest upstream version of Nautilus from GNOME and it's fair to say it's seen better days. Canonical's legal policy can now be read from the details pane in system settings. Firefox 20 is included by default, but don't forget you'll automatically get upgrades to newer versions. And for your office needs, there's LibreOffice 4, which is faster than previous versions, as well as more stable. Ubuntu's music app Rhythmbox no longer includes the Ubuntu One Music Store plugin. But it's not gone away completely. You can still search for music, preview music and buy music using the music lens in the Unity Dash. It seems fitting to end on one of my favourite little changes. Session dialogues are now Unity styled. That means logging out is now just as slick as logging in. <laughs>